that's uh, right. Let's go ahead and shrink that down a bit. <clears throat> Good evening, Golden. How are you? I am fine. I'm guessing it's that time of the week, so that probably means more trolling from yours truly. Oh, yeah. All right, so people are coming in. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and transition that over here. Hello, Wolf Scythe. Scythe, excuse me. Edwin Flores, sequestered guy. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Mm. Proof I hear people disrespecting women. This is a weird ad. Alley, a smart saving tool. Unless there's something I'm missing here, that probably has to be a joke.
Heavy bladed 420. Yes, Rosaria, I made that announcement on Twitter. <clears throat> A month long 420. Then another side note, try it out CSGO and it looks like fun and chili, yummy chili. Okay. How's my week been? It's been pretty good. <clears throat> I feel fat. I just ate 20 pieces of buffalo chicken myself. Well, I... I think this is more on the lines of you feel so full that you could just easily shit yourself. Ask Golden Thoughts about um, <clears throat> let me try that again. Thoughts about the Deviant Art Eclipsed. Um, the Eclipse layout is garbage. You know, the original layout design on Deviant Art was fine as is, and it's been the same kind of layout for the past decade or so, depending on how long Deviant Art's been a thing. And breaking everything down, what exactly do they expect to gain from that? You know, it, they should understand that saying, don't fix what isn't broken. It's the same issue that I have whenever it comes to, like, YouTube changing their stuff. Like, I like their older format of when you uploaded videos, but they change it. I remember years ago, I probably mentioned this before. Uh, when it came to having a YouTube channel, you could decorate your layout entirely. And now, it's only just the header. Which is fucking stupid. You know, I like the idea of having, you know, your own personality completely created at your own free will. And not have these limitations. It's really stupid. No, Equestria Guy, I was referring to uh, YouTube as another example. <clears throat> I was referring back to like many, many years ago when you could design your own page, like entirely, and now you're only stuck with making this stupid header. The internet being stupid since 1991. Uh, dude, the internet's been around a lot longer than that. It wasn't to the public until probably the 90s. Or maybe late 80s. I could be wrong there. Mildly guessing before somebody calls me out. Let's get the stream party started. Let's see, any last words before I may or may not uh, tear you... Lion King one and a half a new one tomorrow night. Uh, Spinel, the video's not even live. Well, it hasn't premiered yet. You don't even know what I'm gonna say in the review. Hi, Logic. Let's do this. <laughs> nice. I don't know why I've got a fucking Pepsi right now, because I'm going to drink it, and fucking I'm going to get acid reflux, and it's going to bother me for the rest of the night, because I have to lay down at some point, and despite knowing that I should not lay down, because it's going to burn my throat, I'm going to anyway. How are you? Um, Good. That's the point, considering it's the best Disney director DVD set. Uh, you probably haven't seen Bambi 2, dude.
Is there lo is there a logic Colbin vector made or is that a work in pro it's a, it's a work in progress. But it was worth playing some fun games back in the 90s, such as Duke Nukem 3D, Warwind, Commander Keen, Minesweeper, <laughs> Gold Pusher, Pipe Dream. God, Minesweeper was so stupid. Duke Nukem was the shit, though. Did you ever feel bad for how Duke Nukem ended up? Yeah. Because, mm. like, it's the perfect analogy of... Okay, let's say for high hypothetically speaking we'll look at it from this way for an analogy let's say that duke was a guy who was frozen back in whenever the original games came out uh-huh and you know everything started progressing and changing everything was different everything was getting better and then they thaw him out after a really long time and he still tries to be the same because at the end of the day i feel like that's what was wrong with the new duke nukem when the franchise died mm -hmm. that it didn't do enough changing because it was too busy setting up and then delay and once it finally once it was finally its time it was no longer its time you know what i mean yeah and she's like huh this is back and it's old spinolover um to explain what Minesweeper is, it's an old uh, Windows game where you have to click a series of buttons and they have a, like a number each. And each number is supposed to indicate that one block next to whichever block you pressed um, is a possible proximity of a mine being detonated if you click next to it. It's a very, very jarring guessing game. And it's very frustrating because it's so cryptic to figure out. And when you click on a mine, you're dead, so you have to start over. I love how they're saying it's still around. I'm just like, Minesweeper isn't a difficult thing to maintain. It's all it's almost as simple as something like Tetris or that one game where you move the slider along the bottom and knock the balls up and down to hit the things at the top. I keep forgetting what it's actually called. Bowling? No, you were playing it. Fucking... <laughs> Oh, um... It was a Mario game. Oh, Alleyway. That one. That one. Um, the original game was called Breakout on the Atari, and there were different, yeah. like, incarnations of it. Oh, that... Oh, shit. I remember. Which is amazing, because my memory shit. But I remember this game that I used to have. That was what you just said. It's one of those, you know, Breakout, Block Breaker, the slide of the, you know those mm -hmm. sorts of games and I remember you'd play as a bunch of these different rectangle things that had different colors and personalities mm -hmm. and I think the objective was to like, in, rescue the obligatory female equivalent of the main character from the evil villain equivalent of the main character <laughs> and through the different stages, you'd play as the different characters, and they were different sizes and had different abilities. I think different abilities, or maybe they were just... I'm going to search this. Because okay, I know I'm not crazy. Everyone in the chat is probably like, let me check. Uh, let's see. Ray out game image. I know you exist. Don't do this to me. I know you exist. <laughs> it's it's going to become my mission in life to find this. Because you know, I remember this game. I have a similar sort of reaction from... I don't know what song it was. And I've been trying to figure out what it was. Not necessarily a song, but it was a catchy, catchy metal riff. A very aggressive metal riff. And it was from a video of a guy who's playing on the guitar, obviously, 
and he's he looks like he's dressed up as Slender Man, like green Slender Man. You know that suit that you wear, and everything on your body is uh, green. And he's got a Santa hat. It's supposed to be like a Christmas gift of a series of guitars and amplifiers. I do not know where it was. It was like almost 10 years ago now. But it's still in my fucking head. Are you talking about morph suit? A morph suit? Yeah, you said, like, your whole body's green, right? Yeah. So, it's like, you know, it's a full body covering suit. Like you said, like, Slender Man, but it's all green. It's like, a morph suit. Hang on, I'm looking it up. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, it. So, yeah, so I did find what I was talking about. Ah, you lucky bastard. And it's been all over, shut the fuck up. You said, it's like, you said, uh, breakout for the Atari? Yes. I think this is it. Because, like, I'm looking at this stuff, and I could see the red guy that I remember having an okay memory sometimes. Breakout 2000 with ye. It is. It is Breakout 2000. We did it. Gameplay. Math Blaster, I like better. What? What is this? Anyone remember Math Munchers, Jumpstart, Hunted Island, or Captain Crunch game where you have to raise a certain creature to save its planet, world, or whatever? No. So I spoke earlier not too long ago about, because uh, <clears throat> somebody asked me about um, the DeviantArt layout, they called the Eclipse layout, and it's utter shit. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I looked at it for as long as I needed to, and, you know, I mean, they say don't go out your way to hurt yourself or some shit, so why bother using it? And they'll do it anyway. Okay, the only way you'd see me use that is if they made that the default deviant art layout, which would be a stupid idea. God damn. It's like, I'm happy that I found the game I was talking about, but now I'm trying to find images that properly illustrate what I was talking about in the game. Because all I'm seeing is the images of the red guy, which is the like the normal character you just play in Breakout 2000. How long has it been? Since what? Since I last played. It's like I'm talking to myself because, like, you know, okay, no one here can possibly know how long it's been since I last played a game I barely remember. <sighs> Bomberman Act Zero. What do you think is the worst reboot ever made? Um, I mean, that's a fairly easy question to answer, but at the same time, there's like a couple of reboots that were not worth having. Hmm. You know. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. I did agree with that review X Play did. Hmm. Oh, Powerpuff Girls 2016 reboot. Oh, I heard so much shit about that. Hello. Hi, Riley. Could you sound a little quiet? I do. Oh, probably because I turned on the page. <laughs> 
I'm gonna show him now! Ow! Fucking... Are you trying to deafen us, you fucking piece of shit? Sorry, okay, I so, um, I found what I... I didn't find images, but I found what I was looking for. So, um... Storyline for the Breakout video game 2000. The movable battles from Breakout made in 1976 are yeah. now fully anthropomorphic characters. Evil Black Paddle Batniks kidnaps Pink Paddle Daisy. Red Paddle Bounce and must save her in this imaginative platform puzzle and Breakout adventure. I wish uh, I could make this shit up. <laughs> what 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 is this? I, I'm confused right now. It's an old game I used to play when I was like five. It's based on that, you know, Atari breakout thing. Uh -huh. But like the characters are alive and shit, you know. I, I found an image. Sure. I'm gonna post the image in the stream. Oh boy. Hold V, or don't control V. That's also fine. You image, copy image. That's where right, people say hi to Riley. Ow! What the fuck? Yeah. That's this, him. Okay. Th okay. This is sad to say. This image here you just sent. This looks like something like. Okay. This looks like it's something for the PlayStation, and it looks like yes. an it looks like an attempt. To play off of the whole 3D conversion, like with Pac-Man tried to be the 3D conversion. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying this game was good. Remember, I played this at fucking 5. Okay? Okay. Um, I get it. It looks like old PlayStation game. It's probably for the PS1. I just, like, like I'm not saying that it's some amazing hidden gem diamond in the rough sort of thing. Like, it probably sucks now. I All right. probably struggle to play it because of how much everything has changed. But I remember it. Remember. <laughs> That's, and I wanted to share it. Ooh. A little piece of my past that I was able to pick. Riley, up. you are not Mufasa. <laughs> this is CNN. <laughs> 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 okay, I love that in freaking Kung Pao Into the Fist, after Mushu Fasa goes to, uh, vanishing away, this is CNN. This is CNN. This is CNN. <laughs> Did you say Mushu Fasa? Yes, that's what he uh, called himself in the uh, Kung Pao movie. Hmm. Also, somebody linked me to a Pinterest. What is it? Oh. <laughs> It doesn't go on for very long. Apparently not. And so what you up to today? Um, currently live, and I am going to continue with more of Yoshi's Island, and I do hope that I finish it tonight. If not, there's always next week, you know. We've been playing that for a while. Yeah. No sex gift. Hmm. Rosaria, you're giving Riley ideas. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking at the image I posted in the stream chat and just. I'm one of those homosexuals! Oh, yup! <laughs> You ever wonder why I go over to Pete so often? Oh, yup. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and everybody gets Again, so also, I love how everybody earlier, well, some of them apparently weren't even going to click the link. That's neat. But everybody was just like, oh god, when they looked at the image I sent in the Twitch chat, and it's like, yes, I know. But you don't seem to understand. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying, for some kind of weird, twisted nostalgia reason, I'm happy I found this. 
No, I get that. There are some games that I recognize aren't great games that I played from my childhood, but I, I do, I am a little bit nostalgic for them still. Magical Store, what do you mean you can hear Keyframe in the background? I don't hear her. I didn't hear anything. Well, I know that she's working that. out. They can hear, like, they can hear those sweet gains from here. That's what it is. Uh, they, can hear the they can hear the sheer amount of good dudes. <laughs> they might be hearing me play Kingdom Hearts too, so I'm gonna turn that off. Yeah. Yoshi's Island, but with more babies. Also, I feel the I feel the reason I was compelled to bring this up and search for this game is because I was talking to someone earlier. Um, you might know them, Robin. <laughs> yeah, Robin. That's. The and they asked me a question during a little test stream they were doing about old games from my past that I remember that would probably suck now. And I just thought of this one now from that question before. I almost want to try this game again. <laughs> okay. Just to see how bad it is. I mean, I can't, because I don't have a PlayStation or an N64. <sighs> so, Riley, how have you been? I've been okay, working a lot. Um, had the past few days off, and... Yeah. That's cool, it's cool. Having a couple of days. Mm. After working 10 hour shifts for like multiple parts of the week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can only imagine. Baby Mario versus Baby Luigi? Baby against baby. Either way, it's going to be adorable. Treasure Planet Battle at Prokyon? What? I, I don't understand that, but okay. Uh, that's what Spinella was saying. Hey, Logic, I got a good game. Treasure Planet at Prokyon, a 3D naval battle simulator in space. In okay. Space. Um... I have no idea what it is. So, yeah. Ever played Baldi's Basics? No. That game looks fucking creepy. I do know that there was a freaking song dedicated to it by Will Ryan of DA Games. I am Baldi. Nice to meet ya. I'm Baldi. Nice to meet ya. Wow, Spinel, don't need to get all aggressive with me. All right, let's look this up. Treasure Planet at Procyon. Okay, so it's available on Steam. Nice. Wikipedia, do your duty. So, Treasure Planet Battle of Procyon is a real-time strategy video game, part of Disney's action game strand, which includes epic 3D battleships. The game takes place five years after the events of the film Treasure Planet, 
The single-player campaign details the story of Jim Hawkins ascending the ranks as a naval officer. An additional uh, skirmish mode uh, includes several historical and open map skirmishes. What the fuck is skirmish? I... I don't know. Apparently this came out on Halloween. This was the same year the movie came out. Like, this came out a month before the movie was out. Uh, somebody was counting their chickens first before they hatched, because that movie tanked at the box office. Hmm. People seem to like it, so... I shouldn't really complain too much about that. Oh, Golden, I watched that How It Should, how it should Have Ended video you posted. <laughs> what video? The How It Should Have Ended of uh, Sonic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just suddenly turned into freaking Avengers. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> the guy that got to play all those Jim Carrey roles actually did a pretty decent impression of him. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Smokin'. Bing! Nut shot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm live right now. Oh, I don't see a bitch in the game, so... I'm still on pre-show. How long have I been live for now? 32 minutes. Damn. Okay, well, I better get straight to the game. <laughs>